Um, Haim Ankh is one of those areas that I suggest, you know, you spend a decent amount of time on because in terms of like pathology, it persists not only through step one, but through step two, and even to a certain degree, step three. Um, you'll see pictures of pathology, uh, different pathologies from he monk all the way through. And y'all are correct. This is Rouleau formation, stacked like poker chips associated with multiple myeloma. On the step exam, it's going to be multiple myeloma. Take it to the bank. Again, they're not going to try and trick you with some minor or lesser known disease that has Rouleau. Um, it would be very unusual for them. Um, it, it is because you have these, in these you know, gamma globulins that alter the electrostatic charges that normally cause the repulsion of these red blood cells. And now they're becoming stuck together and they stack up on each other. So yeah, if you see this, you know, this is your cue to like do a uh, urine screen uh, to look for these bench Jones proteins and to look and see where the focus of the myeloma may be. And this is sort of the, like the comparison. Um, this is actually a nice picture right here. I'll, I'll stop and take a moment to see. Um, so this is, this is obviously the clear reload here. There may be sometimes a more difficult picture they'll give you. If you look right here, now this is like normal-ish, but they like to give really wide hypochromic centers as a tip off for like iron deficiency anemia. And that's probably one of the harder things they could give you for picture wise. So like this is sort of bordering hypochromic iron deficiency microcytic cells right here. So like this one is surrounded by normal ones. Um, and I, so I wouldn't buy that. But like if the entire slide looked like this, my, my spidey sense would be, would be sneaking up. Why do they have this hypochromatic, uh, oftentimes microcytic anemia? Iron deficiency comes to mind immediately.